Today we will learn double bar graph. In the previous video, we have learned the bar graphs. Now let's learn the double bar graph. Here we are given total number of students and girls from different cities. Let us represent this data in different way. If we draw different graphs for both these tables, we can get information such as maximum number of girls came from which city but if we are required to get combined information like which city has all girl students then how we can find it think think we cannot get combined information from different bar graphs here the number of students and the number of girls are related to each other in such a situation, if we represent both types of data together in pictorial form, then it will be more convenient for us to understand the data. This feature provides us with a double bar graph. Drawing a double bar graph is very similar to drawing a bar graph. First, we will draw the x axis and the y axis. Now, we will show various categories on x axis. Like here, name of cities. On the y axis, we will show the number of students. We will take a convenient scale to represent the numerical data correctly. Here, we can take this scale as 1 unit is equal to 9 students because all the numbers are multiples of 9. So, we will show the numbers 0, 9, 18, etc. on the y axis. The maximum value here is 54, but for our convenience, we have taken numbers up to 63 on the y axis. Step 4. Now we will draw a graph. We will denote the number of students coming from city 1 and the number of girls with a pair of bars in which one bar will represent the number of students and the other bar will denote the number of girls. Similarly, we will show the number of students coming from all the cities and the number of girls in pictorial form. Remember that we will keep the same width of each bar and keep the same distance between the pair of bars made for different cities. This will give us double bar graph. Now, you can draw a double bar graph either horizontally or vertically. You can get various information from this double bar graph. For example, the number of girls coming to school from city 3 and city 4 are equal. In the same way, we can also get combined information like the number of students coming to school from city 4 and number of girls are equal. Try yourself to get more similar information. In this way, with the help of double bar graph, we can compare two types of data related to each other and get different types of information. Today we have learned double bar graph. In the next video, we will see interesting examples related to the bar graph and double bar graph. Bar graph. Bar graph.